Hey Pisces, welcome to your money, career, and biz reading for November 2020 with me, Stella Wild. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, your general money, career, and business energies for November 2020. So remember, these are general readings. If you have a personal concern, you can book a private reading with me. The link is in the description. Please watch for your sun rising and moon signs. If you're new to the channel, please do consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when I release new videos, which is rather often and you don't want to miss any of the good stuff. All right, Pisces, so let's get into your reading. You can see little Ariel is still here lending her psychic energy to your reading. So we're going to start pulling one of these oracle cards. These have keywords on them. They have timings. Um, so let's see what the general energies are for you. And then we'll dive in with the tarot to clarify. We have also another, we have two oracle cards on tap and more tarot. So let's see what we have. Okay. I can't read this upside down. This says adaptability, waxing air moon leaves. Okay, so you are just getting started with some sort of situation um, involving communication. So it's not set in stone yet. This is the thing. This is why we have adaptability. So it's like the, the little leaves have started to come out, but the full flowering has not taken place yet for this particular situation in your life. But it is involving communication, networking, possibly advertising, um, you know, writing. Let's, let's pull the cards and clarify and see what we need to know about this, okay? So this is very nice, beautiful, beautiful energy here. Okay, so you're just getting started. So there's adaptability and flexibility. And of course, you being a mutable energy, you do well with that. Okay, let's see. <laughs> just thought you'd like to see that. Okay. All right, let's see Pisces. Adaptability. What do you need to know about this energy? So first quarter, just getting started with something. What do we need to know? What is happening? The Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. All right, let's see what we have here. We have Capricorn season, the devil card, and the knight of coins. Okay. So there is something where the structure is not there yet, I'm feeling. Because remember, the card is adaptability. So something may need to be tweaked, may need to be changed. Something about you may need to be tweaked or changed, whatever it is. Remember, these are general readings, apply the energy to your situation, but devil card is about structure. It's Capricorn, it's Saturn. And you know, Pisces, let's just face it, that's not always your favorite topic, okay? So, you know, you just kind of lie like, let's, free, let's freestyle it, right? And that has its place, absolutely but so does structure. So with two strong earth energies here, the Knight of Coins and this Capricorn, this is saying if you want long-term success, there's something that needs to be adapted early on, adapted, adopted, whatever, early on in this structure, in getting this thing rolling so that you can have success later. So it's like, you know, really get you know, hit the ground running, you know, start with the end in mind, whatever it is you want to manifest and put the play, put the pieces into play right up front. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. And that, and that way you build the long-term success. Remember, Knight of Coins is still good. It just takes time to get fully rolling. And look, <laughs> she's fully rolling. Look, Ace of Swords. And we have this air moon. So this is it. There is some sort of exciting energy happening with this air energy. All right, look at this. Knight of Cups, gorgeous. Scorpio season. Two of Wands. And <sighs> Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Pisces, this is freaking amazing. This is so good. All right, let's discuss. Okay, so Whatever you begin, whatever decision you make to adapt, adopt, tweak, edit, reconfigure, plan, modify, 
etc. In this month, whatever you initiate, the Ace of Swords, has the seeds of victory in it. Okay? It's the seeds that you plant in Scorpio season to do that. Now, the best time, in my opinion, to be doing this, to initiating this new plan afoot for you, would be after the Scorpio new moon. So the 15th, 16th, 17th of November. Before that, no, in my opinion, okay? <laughs> so for what it's worth. Um, it's still Scorpio season, the Knight of Cups. You may have some other things going on with you earlier in November where, you know, you want to wait until the emotional energy is right for you and also your mental energy. And that Scorpio new moon is an awesome new moon energy. And you want to take advantage of that. Now, we have a two of wands here. Twos are always about waiting. But the thing is, whatever you're going to initiate and start, whatever, however you adapt this plan, whatever adaptability you bring in, you're gonna, that's the key to your success. The key's right here. You're gonna unlock the treasure trove, the treasure, treasure chest of ideas, inspiration, people coming out of the woodwork to help you plans like you're just gonna be on fire this two of wands you're gonna get it there's something amazing that you're gonna get this month pisces in terms of inspiration ideas direction motivation um emotionally and literally like and again it's about the communication aspects so some of you are going to be starting to talk to a lot more people talk to a lot more clients getting your message out to a lot more people getting more feedback also about your work so you can adapt it and make it even stronger and more saleable so many possibilities here remember apply the energy to your situation you'll be doing all of this for the next two months this is after this goes right into the middle of january so we have what you initiate at that Scorpio new moon, middle of November. You're continuing with it in December with this fire sign energy here, the number two, two months. And then look, the Wheel of Fortune, the universe card comes in in January. I feel like the middle of January is going to be a huge turning point moment for you based on what you do in November. Okay, so... You could be signing some new contract in the after the middle of November that, um, you know, for, you know, something for your business, something that you need to adapt your systems, adapt your processes and procedures that again, you'll start working with, with it. You'll unlock that. Um, it could be a software or a computer, whatever, a new service. You unlock the capabilities of it and it can 10 X your business. It's like stuff like that or 10x your productivity, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, but it is excellent. And with the two Capricorn energies we have here, thank you, Ariel. <laughs> with the two Capricorn energies, this is what's going to be going on in the middle of January. Jupiter is in Capricorn right now. So, this is also another time marker for me. It's the number one for Capricorn season as well. So you could really find yourself in a very nice position, like this lion at the top of the card here, Pisces, by making some important new adaptations to your plan in November. And you could really, you know, find some solid success that you build toward to manifest into the middle of January. The universe is bringing you this information in November to help you adapt. Okay. So again, depending on your situation, this could be bringing you somebody to revamp your resume so you can get it out there and get a job. Hopefully this could, you know, be somebody, like I said, bringing you a new system for your business that's going to make your, yourself more productive. Whatever it may be, the universe is going to bring you some sort of opportunity, synchronicity, information. It's like the classic, a book falls from a shelf and lands at your feet. And it's the exact information you need to 
make your plan happen. So it's going to be a lightning bolt, beautiful idea. You could, like I said, be signing a contract, initiating new thought processes, a new plan, and it's going to bring an emotional change to you as well. You're going to be feeling freaking fired up. I love it for you, Pisces. It's awesome. All right, we're going to draw a um, life purpose oracle card. Let's see what we have for for you <laughs> that was a little crazy ariel has vacated the premises she went to get a snack okay i hear her crunching on crunchies out there all right this card fell out look what it is baby freedom you're free to do what you choose pisces you're free to do what you choose isn't this a gorgeous energy all right let's pull some cards to clarify that let's switch to this deck and see what we have for you so yeah you're initiating some bold new situation middle of november so that you can create freedom with your choices with your lifestyle all right what do we have here pisces now we have the knight of cups is upside down yes and the five of swords so by finally making a decision that you are free to do what you choose by having that realization that's what this card is you are free to do what you choose you haven't been choosing that's the problem some of you have not been choosing the knight of cups has been upside down so you have felt like you had no choice or you were just kind of emotionally disconnected. You were just in one of those funks like, let's just ignore it and maybe it'll go away. <laughs> well, <laughs> it didn't. And there's been some anxiety because you ignored it. It didn't go away. And there's been some anxiety. So it's like you're ready, Pisces. You're ready to make these changes. It's excellent. All right. And look what's here, the sun card. I'm not even pulling any more cards. Here it is. Look at the gorgeous, beautiful sacral chakra energy that's here, this beautiful orange. And the orange, the sacral chakra is also about money. It's not just about sexuality, it's about money. Look at what the orange in the sun card. Mm -hmm. So it's about tapping into your creative energies so that you can bring more prosperity to yourself. So, and it's all about the way that's coming about for you is through your communication skills, through, like I said, and your adaptability in tweaking your message, tweaking your sales approach, tweaking, you know, whatever it is you're creating. That's going to bring you the joy. That's going to bring you the new life. Look at this. The sun is always about the new life. The little baby's here. <laughs> the little baby. The new gorgeous life. And this beautiful journey forward that you're going to be on, Pisces. This is gorgeous. So it's time. It's time to really step into making that decision for yourself. And... Um, Look at these major arcanas. Wheel, the sun. The happiness is on its way to you. But it's it's the freedom that you want. You want... Pisces, it's never about the money for you. Yes, you, everybody needs money. Whatever. Okay, and yeah. But for most Pisces people, it's about... You want the money so that you can create your freedom. You can, you know get up at eight in the morning and drink your coffee and take you know two hours to read emails and do whatever and then you go do your artistic work or you go do your work or whatever you do and you go to your yoga class at 4 30 and you don't have to ask anybody's permission to leave early it's like that type of thing like you know that's why you want to build that freedom lifestyle for yourself so if you have any inklings, Pisces, to be some sort of entrepreneur, to do your side hustle that could grow into something bigger for yourself, get on it in November because the energy here is so excellent for that. And, you know, you don't want to be living your days like, you know, as an escape artist, that you just want to escape your days. You hopefully want to live your days to embrace joy. 
not feel like you have to just you're just enduring you know so you are free you're free to choose you're free to choose the new life the new journey forward and um the happiness that can be yours it's about really sharing your gifts pisces you have so many gifts and that's the thing there's something in in the way of adapting it perhaps a little bit better for the marketplace there may just may be some sort of little tweak you gotta do um okay because remember again we still have this this card so i love this for you it's excellent all right let's uh pull an angel card see what else we have pisces pisces what else does pisces need to know oh my god two fell out okay so we have no and we have forgiveness okay i'm gonna pull a couple more because they just fell out i'm not sure if they were really correct i think that's for somebody else and i'm feeling like that's not even about your money and career i think that's about your personal life okay let's see let's see what else we have pisces what is going on what do pisces need to know about this money career situation november what do they need to know okay so we have let go there is something that needs to be let go so that you can bring in something better absolutely that's what the adaptability is about there's something that has to be tweaked let go bring in the other thing so and i'm also feeling like there's something about you pisces that your energy about really allowing yourself to let go in terms of allowing yourself to make this part of your reality if you want it okay letting go of the past of the way things have been and embracing this beautiful new joyful experience that can be on its way for you choose okay let me know in the comments pisces what you are choosing this month with that beautiful ace of swords energy also what are you going to initiate let me know in the comments i wish you all the best take care and i will see you again soon stella wild signing out